Welcome to the Sales Influence Podcast, where we talk about finding the why in how people buy. I'm your host, Victor Antonio. Thank you for joining me today. Super excited to have you on here. Hey, uh, real quick, uh, one, my book, Sales Ex Machina, How Artificial Intelligence is Changing the World of Selling, is now available, so check it out. And if you're a member of the Sales Mastery Academy, for those of you who don't know what that is, it is my online platform. You can see it at salesmasteryacademy.us. If you are a member of the tribe, you get access to the book for free, along with the other 12 books that I've written, okay? Now, so today... Having said that, I want to talk about a real cool strategy. This is this strategy is so simple, and I can't believe that I haven't talked about it in any of my podcasts because it is so powerful, not only in its effectiveness, but in its simplicity to implement. Ooh, that's drama right there, man. I'm trying to build this up because I want you to get excited about this. Now, let's frame this conversation. Let's imagine for a moment that you're in the type of business where people call in and then they need to speak to somebody, right? Because they just need more expert advice. For example, let's say that I'm calling in about, I don't know, life insurance, right? So I call your office about life insurance and typically I'll get the secretary and then the secretary will transfer me to the appropriate person, right? Let's say, uh, I don't know, I have a technical question, so I want to speak to somebody, you know, in technical support. Again, I call in and the secretary transfers me, transfers me to the appropriate person, right? And they'll say something like this. For example, hey, who, uh, my name is uh, John. I'm calling to talk to somebody in technical support. Uh, can you put me through to somebody? Secretary is going to say, yeah, let me put you over to Victor, and Victor can talk to you about this, right? That's a typical reaction, right? Or if you're calling in for life insurance, hey, need to talk to somebody for, about life insurance. Secretary says, sure, let me transfer you over to somebody that we have now available, right? That's a typical scenario. Now, if you're doing that today, ooh, you're missing out. Ooh, you're missing out because I'm about to show you something. I am about to show you a small tweak that will influence the caller's buying decision. Not only will this influence their buying decision, it will position the person who helps the potential buyer as an expert, and all it takes is a couple of sentences. Here it is. This is so powerful. Now, Again, here's a scenario. Somebody calls in, I need to speak to somebody. Secretary says, yes, let me transfer you to that person. If that's how you're doing today, you're losing money. Now, here's what you should do. When somebody calls in, what I want you to do is train your secretary, right? Male or female, doesn't matter. Train your secretary, the person at the desk, that when they receive the call, they're going to ask one or two questions like, what is this you know, in regards to. In other words, how can we help you? The person may say, I need somebody to help me with, you know, I need more information about life insurance. I have a technical question. I don't know. I'm in the landscaping business. I want to ask somebody a question about, you know, design, whatever it may be. Instead of just transferring the person over, you're going to have the secretary ask one or two key qualifying questions. What is this in regards to? They're going to say, well, it's a technical issue regarding this problem. Or, I have questions about life insurance, and I really need to talk to somebody who understands this. And what your secretary is then going to say, perfect. I have the perfect person for you. In fact, Victor Antonio is now available. Uh, Before I transfer you over to Victor, I just want you to know that you're lucky. This guy's been in the business for 20 years. He works with da 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 companies. He works with individual accounts. He works with blah, 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 whatever it may be. And you're, you know, you're going to enjoy the conversation. This is the guy to talk to. And then she transfers you over to Victor, right? Now, what did she just do? Or what did he just do? What did the secretary do? Before they transfer you over to Victor, in this case, the agent What the secretary did is let the customer know, one, you're important, and I'm going to find the right person. Two, you're very fortunate because I do have the right person available right now. Three, 
position them as an expert. In other words, let me tell you about who you're going to talk to before you talk to them. This person has 20 years of experience, works with companies just like yours, or works with individuals in your situation, and has been with us for, again, 20 years, and he's certified in da, da, da. So this is the person you need to talk to. By simply using that strategy, can you imagine how different the customer's mindset is going to be when they talk to the agent. Instead of talking to somebody who they don't know anything about, they already have the short resume of the agent that they're talking to, which means that the agent now will garner more respect from the caller. In other words, the caller will respect that person because they already know this person has 20 years of experience, has been in this business, understands this business well, and apparently this is their resident expert. Can you see how just that small tweak, that small change in the secretary receiving the call before transferring it over, can you see how powerful that can be? It will change the dynamic of any conversation that's incoming. Again, so think about this. I want you to consider giving your secretary a script based on what we've just discussed. In other words, how do we position our agents as experts before we connect them with a potential buyer? And anyway, that's it for this Sales Influence Podcast, short and sweet. Don't forget to leave me some feedback on iTunes, Stitcher, or YouTube. Let me know what you think. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, I know I've not gotten back to many of you on your emails. There's so many. I'm a bit overwhelmed, if you know what I mean. I'll try to get to some as soon as I can. Also, check out my online sales training platform Again, the Sales Mastery Academy at salesmasteryacademy.us. And lastly, I want to thank you for listening. This is Victor Antonio always reminding you, selling ain't hard when you know how. Take care. Hi, I'm Victor Antonio. I'm an author, sales trainer, and keynote speaker. I'm often asked, what makes a great speaker? Is it someone who delivers real content that the audience can use? Is it someone who engages the audience so they're part of the learning experience? Or is it someone who can motivate an audience to push them beyond their comfort zone and discover new abilities? The answer is yes, but the most important thing to remember is that I'm not there to look good. I'm there to make my client look good. Simply put, it's never about me and it's always about them.